There's the clock, NASA's 57th shuttle mission, the fifth this year, just about to get underway at Kennedy Space Center. CNN's Tony Clark is here to take us through the launch of the Space Shuttle Discovery. Tony? The launch was delayed, in fact, just a few moments ago. There was a minor, minor glitch that has probably delayed the launch a couple of minutes. Right now, the launch will probably occur around 9, 12, uh, 36. The problem was a communications problem. They held the countdown clock at T minus five minutes, but uh, that problem was resolved, and everything now is go for a launch at 9, 12. Here you can see the three main engines of the shuttle Discovery. It was earlier this morning that we saw the five crew members come out of the uh, vehicle building, their, their uh, suit-up building. There you can see them, Commander Frank Culbertson, the uh, lead there. He is the commander on this flight. This is his second mission. He said a good mission is worth waiting for, and they have been waiting for this for some time. It is almost a month behind schedule. This mission will include everything that astronauts usually like to have on their mission. There will be a satellite deployment, a satellite capture, and a six-hour spacewalk. As I say, they have been waiting uh, almost a month now for this mission to, uh, to occur. It was originally going to launch on July 17th, but there was an equipment problem that day. Then it was a week later, and it was tried again. But then the countdown got to T-minus 19 seconds, and there was another problem. The launch was rescheduled for August 4th. And then a reporter pointed out to, uh, pointed out to NASA that there was the, uh, the meteor shower, and so it was delayed again until today. Now everything looks good. CNN's John Zarella is at the Kennedy Space Center. John, the forecasters say weather is perfect there. Well, Tony, the, uh, the weather here is absolutely perfect for a morning uh, launch here in about 2 minutes and 35 seconds. The, uh, the meteor shower last night, uh, we saw about a dozen meteors out here last night between uh, 8.30 p.m. and about uh, midnight. Nowhere near the meteor storm, at least here, that everyone predicted. But NASA was uh, erring on the side of caution when they decided to go ahead and wait until the passage of the Perseid meteor shower. I understand they also turned the Hubble Space Telescope around so that the uh, Hubble's optics would not be facing the uh, incoming meteors. And, uh, of course, Hubble is orbiting the Earth uh, at this particular time. Tony? You and I have both uh, seen in the past, even a speck of dust traveling in space can, can create damage. I know the, the uh, Challenger, before the explosion, in one of the early Challenger flights, we saw a piece of some of the, uh, the window of Challenger where just a fleck of paint hit it at the uh, tremendous speeds that uh, everything goes in space. And, and that sort of thing causes a dent. And so that's, that was the reason for concern uh, with yesterday's meteor shower, even though many of the meteors were just the, the size of dust. That's exactly correct. The uh, concern was that even the size of dust traveling at those speeds should, by some freak chance, one of those particles hit the shuttle while it was orbiting. It could have done very, very serious damage to the vehicle. Tony? John, is, is there any sense of frustration there? As I say, this is the third time NASA has tried to launch Discovery, mechanical problems uh, causing the, the previous two uh, scrubs. Is there a sense of frustration? Uh, jinx was a word that was used in yesterday's news conference. Well, the concern we hear around, around here at the Kennedy Space Center is that if for some reason they had to delay again, that it would start to affect their downstream planning on their future missions. They've got another one coming up next month, and then they get into a busy uh, fall schedule. That was the big concern here as much as anything else, Tony. Right now, the countdown clock is uh, the final seconds. Let's listen in to commentator George Diller as he counts off those final seconds. T-minus 30 seconds. 25. 25. Mike, let us know when we can go. To Standing by to activate the sound suppression water system in five seconds. Fifteen. T minus ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Go for main engine start. Three main engines up and burning. Three. We have a cutoff. The FS one oh one. LDB goes one. And the main engine cut off. Saving in work. 
and HD GLS. It's accepted to safe. All three engines are showing post shutdown standby. We'll go for orbiter HD shutdown with no MPS fire detectors trip. Orbiter access arm now back in position. Copy CDR PLT entity perform APU shutdown. APU shutdown can work. CMPL C lock certified lock fleet path. CMPL verified fleet path established and heat shield water is on. C lock verified. Discovery is now in the uh, safe configuration. Crew is in no danger. MPS copies in work. CMPL fire detector status. Uh, CMPL no fire detector trip. CGLS still no fire detectors on your screen. That's correct, and our primary safety is complete. We're go for transition to G9. I copy. MTL war daily is still on. The water is on. CLXY leak detector status. Okay, Bill, uh, this is uh, Fire Room 1. Will you get us uh, the TSM readings as soon as you can? CLXY, leak detector status. NTD 2 problem. Uh, no fires. Copy. CGSS verify OA extend and lock surf and report staff at emergency egress temp and flame detector. Verify OA extend and lock and no indications of fire on egress route. Right now, NASA is going through the safing process for the shuttle discovery. No indication, no word yet of what caused the computers to shut down the, uh, the shuttle's engines in the final seconds. This is the third time equipment problems have forced uh, discovery, have kept discovery on the ground. And because the engines began to, uh, to fire, this will likely be a long delay. We have seen this before when a, a shuttle had uh, begun firing their engines uh, and had the engines uh, shut down and they had to replace the engine so this is expected to be this would expect be expected to be a long uh, delay let's listen in for just a minute and see if we can find out exactly what happened EPD uh, EPD verified 18 and 19 00 00S verified 20 CBR CBRS verified 21 all personnel post aboard safety checks are complete proceed to recycle control sequence sequence 18 on page 1045 verification that the space shuttle is safe we have no uh, indication of any fires in the uh, aft area. Okay, NCT Houston 5, that's in work. APU OTC, uh, step 18. The process now is for the astronauts to go through a variety of switch throws to make sure that that everything is in a safe position. The uh, access arm has swung back around and the uh, white room is being set up again so that the astronauts would be able to leave once the, uh, the shuttle is, as NASA puts it, safe. The, the astronauts uh, are in no danger at, at this point and, and there is still no word exactly what caused the problem to, to bring the countdown, to shut down the countdown, uh, prevent the launch of Discovery for a third time. That's complete. And on F8, flight controller power switch off. CLT flight controller switch power is off. Okay, copy that. CGSS, uh, OA extended lock, configured re retract. That's verified. This was to have been the 17th flight of Discovery. It has been flown more than than any other shuttle. NASA ground controllers, when asked yesterday about the, the two previous scrubs because of equipment problems. We have an indication of a fuel flow rate uh, failure on engine number two. This uh, occurred while a um, health check of the number two engine was being performed. Uh, no indication yet uh, this uh, really occurred. We're looking at the data. While the uh, space shuttle is safe, the launch team has gone through this uh, safing procedure many times in uh, practice and, uh, of course, uh, uh, several times in reality. Commentator George Diller saying it appears to have been a, a problem with the fuel going into engine number two. Ironically, about five minutes before the uh, the launch there was an this indication of a fuel cell problem uh, in uh, engine number three time was uh, STS 55 OTC is APU Peter activation is complete that's step 18 for step 19 runtime 8 minutes 30 seconds 
Copy that, thank you. See prop entity, you seen anything? I see prop negative, sir. Everything looks good so far. Very good. Right now, ground FTP controllers FTP are, are FTP going FTP through FTP checking FTP the data FTP to FTP try FTP and FTP determine FTP. exactly oh. what caused the, uh, the fuel cell flow rate change, the indication that fuel was not flowing into engine number two at the rate that, that it should have flown into. The shuttle has onboard computers that control the countdown during the, the final seconds, and it was one of those onboard computers that, in sensing the, the problem, shut down the engines as they began to fire, bringing uh, this launch attempt to an end. As I said, the five-member crew are on board. They are safe. Uh, they are going through the process of turning off all of the various uh, switches inside the shuttle before they will come out.